Hello and welcome. My name is Carrie and I am pleased to take you through this yin class. Tonight we are going to explore the element of water and also dive into our bladder and kidney meridians, those energy highways. So if you have a bolster, I'd like you to go get that, and a blanket because we're going to be using both of those. Also, I have in the uh, description below, I have listed out a Spotify playlist that's my favorite to listen to when I am doing my yin classes. So please feel free to have that playing in the background and get yourself into something comfortable and we'll begin. We'll start in an easy pose today just to kind of arrive at the mat, arrive into your yoga class. So take a moment, feeling your sits bones on the floor, getting your spine nice and long, maybe even closing your eyes, going inside, Tonight's yin class is going to be exploring the element of water. So imagining your breath of water flowing in, filling your cup. And as you exhale, imagine that water flowing back out of your cup. And with the element of water, we're also going to be exploring our kidney and our bladder meridians that are ruled by the element of water. And those two meridians or energy highways also are responsible for our fears, our doubts, our worry. So as we flush these energy highways, noticing if any doubts, worry, or fear are released as we go through our different poses and we're going to hold the poses for a length of time so you can really feel into them and with both of these energy highways the bladder and the kidney meridian they both are um, starting and ending in our feet so the first pose i'm going to have you come into is on your hands and knees. You can have your bolster in front of you. And we're gonna use it to lean on. And we're going to curl our toes under and maybe moving your pinky toe out of the way. And usually we sit on the heels just to add a little bit of pressure here. But tonight we're going to just lean on the bolster so we're not giving as much pressure into the toes. And if your toes are screaming at you, you might want to come off of the toes. You want to feel a, just a sensation here. And close your eyes. We'll take some time here as we create some space in the toes for fresh energy to flow through. So the bladder meridian starts at your pinky toe, makes its way up the back of your legs, all the way up your back into your skull and all the way to the top of your eyebrows and then the kidney meridian it goes from the middle of the ball of your foot and 
makes its way up the inside of your leg, up through the hip bones and the pelvis, up the front of the body, and ending just underneath the clavicle at the K27 mark. So just hanging out here, following the flow of your breath, filling it up and emptying it back out. So water nourishes all life on earth and makes up approximately 70% of our bodies and about 70% of the planet that we live on. So it's in us and all around us. And there's so much that we can learn from water. Let's come off of those toes. We'll flatten them out, maybe just tapping them onto the floor. And then moving the bolster out of the way, maybe taking your knees nice and wide. And we'll come into child's pose here, bringing your arms out in front of you and letting your forehead rest onto the mat. Allowing yourself to sink down here. Breathing in and breathing out. And then from here, let's come up onto our hands and knees, bringing the knees back in. We're going to take the right leg forward, and we're going to take our bolster tonight, maybe folding it in half, tucking it under uh, your toe underneath. And then we're going to slide the knee forward so that it's resting on the bolster. Now, if you don't have a thick enough bolster, you might want to stack up a pillow here, but you want your knee to be resting and that back leg to be stretching out. And we'll just take a few moments feeling your hips sinking down closer towards the floor, allowing your breath to move freely and easily. Our breath is a good way to gauge how your mind is feeling or how your mind is doing. So if your breath is slow and steady, most likely your mind is slow and steady as well. Feeling a nice stretch on the top of the left leg. And a stretch in your right hip. And the great Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu had said, water is fluid, soft, and yielding. But water will wear away a rock which is rigid and cannot yield. And as a rule, whatever is fluid, soft, and yielding will overcome whatever is rigid and hard. What is soft is strong. 
keeping your breath soft, allowing it to wear away any rigidity in your body, any tension, any tightness. Take a breath in and a breath out. And slowly coming back up, stretching that leg back behind you. And we'll do the other side. So taking the left leg forward, getting that back knee back, and then Taking your bolster in half, kind of leaning into it so that your knee has um, a little bit of a padding. That right leg and right knee is feeling a little tender. You can always place a blanket under it. Always making adjustments so that it feels right for you. Allowing your hips to relax. Allowing your breath to flow. Like a stream of water flowing in. And flowing back out. Creating some calm, gentleness, maybe even tapping into hope and wisdom within. Even coming into that beautiful ujjayi breath, that hollow sound in the back of your throat, like a seashell against your ear. Let's take a nice big inhale and exhale. And slowly coming out of this shape and bringing that left leg behind you. We're going to come into a little forward fold. So standing up. And having your bolster, your pillow underneath you, going to dangle here, letting your head hang down. You can bend your knees if your back is tender, letting your hands rest onto your bolster or your pillow. And imagine somebody is holding you up by your hips, allowing your back body to stretch out. And 
And imagining any negative thoughts, any worries, fears, just flowing out from the top of your head, releasing them back to the earth. And as you hang out in this shape, softening a little bit more, allowing your face to relax, jawline to soften, neck and shoulders hanging down. Maybe feeling an energy flowing up from your feet, up your legs, over your hips, through your kidneys, down your back, shoulders and arms. Allowing yourself to let go of your day. We'll take a full breath in here and a full breath out. And then bending your knees nice and slow, bringing yourself down onto the floor, and just letting your legs stretch out over your bolster. We'll just lay all the way down onto the mat, taking a moment in this shape, feeling that Blood of energy flowing from your toes to the top of your head. Feeling the cool air flowing in. The warm air flowing back out. And then we'll bring our feet onto the bolster, gently rolling to your side and bringing yourself back up. And we're going to come back onto our knees. And we're going to tap into the bladder meridian that runs up the back of our legs. So we're going to take our left foot. We're going to just let it rest on the back of our ankle. And then we're going to sit back onto that left foot and just noticing how that feels on your ankle. So again, this left foot is on the right, sitting back on it. You can always bring your bolster forward and lean on it like we did earlier. We're going to make our way up our calf here. So we'll just stay here for 10 breaths, closing your eyes, breathing all the way in and all the way back out.
And just noticing maybe it's getting a little bit easier as you hold here. Maybe it's feeling a little more intense. <laughs> just make sure there's no sharp pains. And then we're going to lift our hips up. Take that left foot and bring it to the middle of your calf here. And then just sitting back on it. It's going to be a little more intense than the last one. So maybe leaning forward a little bit more. You might want to even come onto your elbows. I'm taking, let's see if we can do 10 breaths here. So breathing. And releasing. Giving your calves a little bit of massage, a little bit of pressure. Waking up that energy channel. And then we'll come back up and let's see if we can take that leg just underneath our knee and sitting back, coming back down maybe. And we'll take only five breaths here. So see if you can focus on your breath, taking your mind away from any sensation that might be happening the back of your leg. And then we'll slowly come back up and taking that leg out, let's stretch that right leg out, bringing your toes onto your mat and then just pumping your heel. So as I mentioned in previous classes where yin is kind of like kinking a garden hose and then we open it up and there's a flood of new energy, new prana. So feeling that fresh flood of energy up your calves and then we'll get ready to do the other side. So we'll take that left ankle or sorry right ankle and place it on your left ankle. And then just sitting back on it. Maybe this one you can come up a little bit higher. And just allowing the weight of your hips to create some pressure on that left side. Closing your eyes and focusing in on your breath. Beautiful. Let's come forward and we'll take the right leg, right foot, and bring it halfway up onto that left calf. And then just sitting back, feeling that pressure, maybe using your bolster for this one. Closing your eyes. Focusing back in on your breath. And we'll take five more breaths here.
and then coming back up and taking that right foot just underneath your left knee and sitting back down, feeling that pressure of your foot into your knee, counting to five here. Being soft with your breath. And then coming back up and let's stretch your left leg out, toes on the mat, pumping your heel. Beautiful. And then coming back on your hands and knees, you can move your prop out of the way. We're going to come into our beautiful swan pose. So take your right knee to your right wrist, sliding the left leg back. And if you'd like, you can always take that prop and put it underneath that right hip if you need to. And making sure there's no sharp pains in your knees. Just a gentle pressure. And then slowly bringing yourself all the way down. Letting your head rest on your hands, shoulders relaxing, face softening. And flowing that breath down into your hip. As you exhale, just releasing any tension. Allowing the tension to be carried away with your exhale. We'll take a few more breaths here. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. And then slowly coming back up. Let's send that right leg back. Hello, kitty. <laughs> and we're going to take our bolster underneath our belly. And then just laying down on it, letting your head relax. We'll take a few moments here, feeling that flood of energy in your right side. Noticing how it feels compared to the left. That flow of fresh energy. And 
then we'll make our way back up and take your prop out of the way and we'll get ready for the other side. So taking the left knee to the left wrist, sliding that right leg back, coming into our swan pose on this side, making sure that your knee feels okay your hips feel okay and then slowly bringing yourself all the way down to the floor taking some time to settle here breathing all the way down into that lower hip area allowing each breath to wear away any tension that you might be feeling any rigidity you might be experiencing in your left hip just like the water wears away a rock Allow your breath to ease away the tension. And we'll take five more breaths here. And then slowly coming back up, taking that left leg and bringing it back. We'll place the bolster or the pillow back underneath your belly, laying back down and bringing your head down, letting that flood of fresh energy flow from your toes to the top of your head. Feeling the pulsing at your belly, that creative center. And then we'll bring our hands back underneath ourselves, lifting ourselves back up. And we're going to come into a caterpillar pose. So sending your legs out in front of you, bringing your bolster down on your legs. And when you're ready, we're just going to fold down getting comfortable, letting your head relax. You might want to stack your fists. 
Letting your arms rest onto your bolster. Breathing all the way up the back body. And with each exhalation, just sinking a little bit deeper. Shoulders softening, face relaxed. Focusing on your breath. And we'll take five more breaths here. And then very slowly making your way back up, moving that bolster out of the way. And we'll bring our feet together into a little cobbler's pose or butterfly. We're going to take our thumbs onto the inside of our ankles and our pointer finger onto the outside of our ankles. We're going to massage these two points. So these are the inside is our kidney meridian and the outside is our bladder meridian. So they will run past these two areas. And these two points are really, really good to massage, especially in the evening before bed. So if you're sitting watching a show, you can Give your little meridians a massage and it will help to give you a better night's sleep. Great. And then we'll just bring the knees up and set ourselves up with our bolster underneath our knees, maybe a blanket on top, getting yourself comfy and cozy. We're gonna come into our corpse pose. So laying down onto your mat, wiggling in, Feeling the beautiful support.
support of the floor beneath you. Closing your eyes. Feeling all that wonderful energy, that wonderful water flowing through you. Carrying oxygen, energy. Giving yourself permission to rest and digest all of the postures, all of those shapes. Feeling the cool air flowing in and the warm air flowing back out. Feeling at peace and calm. And while you're here, I'll share one of Zach Beach's poems called Dive Deeper. Dive deeper than you have ever gone before. Beyond turbulent waters, beyond drifting seas. Journey into the depths where separate waves become one ocean. Keep swimming where the light touches just enough to highlight your liveliness. Now forget the world, forget the waves, forget perhaps that you are even a body. Let these words take you beyond words. Beyond words, there is a melody. Beyond melody, there is a prayer. Beyond prayer, there is heart. Beyond heart, there is stillness. Beyond stillness, there is presence. Beyond presence, there is light. Beyond light, there is God. Beyond God, there simply is. Dive deeper than you've ever gone before to the is of the now. The is of everything the is of all that is, the is that is dancing everywhere, the is that you are. How rare and precious it is to be here, here, right now, in this now, alive. And just beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing a full breath into your belly. Coming back into your room. And slowly making your way back up to a seated position.
And maybe letting your hands rest on top of your knees, palms facing up. Bring our voices together with the sound of OM three times. So taking a nice full breath in. Ah. Ah. Bringing your hands together at your heart center and may you be fluid and free like the water. Namaste.